covered the story of Alex Drukey extensively here. Alex is an Iraq war veteran who was so moved by the strength and determination of the Ukrainian people that he traveled to Ukraine to help them fight after Russia launched its full-scale invasion in February of 2022. Alex was subsequently captured by the Russians, held in captivity along with another veteran, Andy Wynn, for 105 days. The pair were released in a prisoner swap. Alex and his aunt Diana Shaw are with us now for an update. Thank you both for being with us on this holiday as we honor the lives lost um, on Memorial Day. Alex, um, I'll start with you. I understand uh, you're back in Ukraine. What led to that decision and how you doing? That's correct, Marty, and it's great to see you again. I'm, I'm doing well, and I hope you are too. Um, I'm, I'm back in Ukraine for the same reason. I'm, I'm always back. This, this war is not over, and um, you know, on, on Memorial Day, I, I always remember the hundreds of thousands of men and women that have given their lives for the safety of our country and for you know, stability and peace across the globe. But this Memorial Day, I'm, I'm also thinking about all of the Ukrainians that are dying. Um, you know, I, at this one, I've I've lost far too many of the people that I've met and the men that I've trained and served with. Uh, my fiance lost a, a cousin in Afitka. Um, her father is serving, and, and his team just recently lost one of their members. Um, so, so people are people are dying because of this war, and I'm here uh, to do everything I can to to help stop this war. Diane, I know that um, it's tough to see Alex go back for you and and for Bunny, Alex's mom as well. Um, what was the discussion around him returning and, and how are you guys holding up with that? Thank you. We are proud of him for not giving up on the Ukrainian people and their fight for democracy and freedom. They're a fledgling democracy and they need all the support they can get. Um, but we know that Alex is there on humanitarian missions this time and to raise funds to support the, the troops there. So he's traveling a lot and speaking to a lot of people and, and uh, doing lots of non-combat things. And so we're just deeply proud of him. Yeah, non-combat, that's what we like to see. Alex, tell me about your day-to-day, -day, how Ukraine looks now versus when you were there a couple of years ago. Sure. Um, yeah, that's that's the great thing about being here for an extended period of time in a non-combat role is, is I'm getting to live the daily life of a Ukrainian. And um, right now, it's it's quite difficult because we've lost about 40% of our energy infrastructure due to Russian attacks. And um, even the capital city is forced to do rolling blackouts. Um, so there are several hours in the day that we don't have power. I didn't have power all afternoon, and it switched on about 15 minutes ago. So I was really glad I, I, could able, I you know, was able to connect and, and do this interview. Um, but, you know, the, the Ukrainians are having to deal with, well, can I get in the elevator to go downstairs and get groceries or pick up my kids or handle this medical emergency? Or will I be trapped on the 17th floor uh, and in there for several hours? Um, you know, we're, we're dealing with the air raid siren on an almost daily basis, sometimes multiple times a day. Um, Ukraine is, is trying to get back to normal life as best they can, but it's um, it's it's very different than, than what your average American is experiencing. Yeah, and the threat continues. Do you feel as though you have a target on your back, Alex, given what you have been through? I, I mean, I, I realize I, I definitely do, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm in Ukraine, surrounded by Ukrainians that love Ukraine. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm cautious. Uh, I, I keep keep my eyes out, but but yeah, I, I feel relatively safe. How long are you going to be there? Um, for several several months. Um, yeah, I probably won't be won't be leaving until uh, late fall, I imagine. Uh, Diana, I know that being together with family means so much more, given Alex's experience. What does today mean to you and just time, special time with family when you get it, um, when Alex is home? Well, it's a somber day, of course, because we remember those who gave the ultimate sacrifice. And we have those in our family line, as you know, many, most Americans do. Um, it's wonderful when we can be with Alex, but we stay in touch daily. Um, so we're big supporters of everything that he is doing and we feel like we can be a part of that from here you know my sister and i continue to go to gatherings of ukrainians here in america we continue to talk to our elected officials ukraine needs uh, all the support we can get we're so grateful to congress for finally um passing the legislation to allow the recent support that went and it is being applied 
already. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.